Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about a place in Shadowcross land where I believe you have gone several times but might have missed something very interesting. You are going to get some very cool rewards from this place. To go there I am starting from Moonrise Towers Way Pond. Just follow my path from here. Remember, when you came here for the first time you had a fight against some shadow cars creatures. And we also found Arabella from an area close to this. Once the area is clear, you will see three plaques here which is some sort of confusing to determine if it is a puzzle or not. It actually is a puzzle. To be more precise, a very simple one. You just need to click the plaques in an exact order like I'm doing here. Ooh, I sense a secret. Once done, a hidden door will open from the other side. Just go through the door. No curse in here. Wonder why. Here you'll find three shard statues containing three different plaques in the bottom. A note here, you'll have to click on each plaque and go through some perception checks. If you fail any check, then the next door will not open for you. So I highly recommend to make a custom save here at this point. Once you're ready, just begin the process. Do you accept Shah's test of your intellect? You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine and a strange sensation of acceptance. Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Well, let me show you the conditions I got. Is awesome, right? But be aware, this will last till your next long rest. Now let's go inside. An altar to Shah. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. We shall try both the options. First, let me sacrifice some blood. Not a very good price, but now let's try taking the dagger.
This will trigger a fight and you'll need to defeat three powerful enemies. The seat of the absolute power. Once the fight is over, you can leave this place as it has nothing more to offer. Let me show you the dagger details. The dagger doesn't seem to be very impressive, but to have this dagger you'll have to go through a tough fight. For this reason I won't recommend you to take this dagger. However, if you still want this dagger, I completely respect your call. So guys, this was the video for today. Subscribe my channel if you have liked this video. Till then, have a nice day, goodbye.